Introducing the one and only Mrs. P.L. Travers, the creator of our beloved Mary. Poppins. Never ever just Mary. Now, where is Mr. Disney? Well, Pamela Travers, you can't imagine how excited I am to finally meet you. Would you mind? My name is Mrs. Travers, Mr. Disney. Oh, Walt, then. You gotta call me Walt. Oh, dear. Saving Mr. Banks is about the translating of Mary Poppins from the book to the screen. Twenty years ago, I made a promise to my daughters that I would make Mary Poppins fly off the pages of your books. What's the secrets behind this great movie that everybody loved? I promise them, Pam. I know what he's going to do to her. She'll be cavorting and twinkling. He can't make the film unless you grant the rights. Pam. Yeah. Scene one. It's about that volatile creative process of how it ended up on paper first. No, no, goodness me, no. So that it become the movie it was. Stop! Mary Poppins is not for sale. The movie tells the story of how she became who she is. I won't have her turned into one of your silly cartoons. And what Mary Poppins means to her and why it's so hard for her to let go. What am I missing here? Mary Poppins had kind of saved her in a way. Mary Poppins and the Bankses, they're family to me. Mary Poppins was a real person? It wasn't as if she was giving this character to him with any degree of ease. They are storytellers. I think when he talks to her as a storyteller with passion and a shared background story, that's what wins her over. Everybody is just so convinced about their own passions. That's what we storytellers do. P.L. Travers is burdened by her past. We restore order with imagination. Walt goes a substantial distance to take on the past, heal, and turn it into something that is not a burden. We instill hope again and again and again.